Jean Piaget foi um psicólogo do desenvolvimento e dedicou-se a estudar como se dava a evolução da capacidade cognitiva ao longo do crescimento do indivíduo. Ele propôs que nós passamos por quatro estágios de desenvolvimento. O sensório-motor, o pré-operacional, o estágio de operações concretas e o de operações formais. Dentro de cada estágio e se desenvolvendo também dentro deles, algumas habilidades intelectuais são destacadas como marcos de um desenvolvimento normal. Alguns experimentos bem interessantes podem ser realizados com crianças para evidenciar a aquisição dessas habilidades. Vejamos alguns. O teste de permanência do objeto é feito para identificar se a criança bem pequena mantém em sua mente a ideia de que os objetos continuam a existir mesmo quando saem do seu campo visual. Aparentemente, os pequeninos não entendem como o objeto existia, deixa de existir e volta à existência. What do you have there? Is that your yummy giraffe? Let me see. Let me see. Can I see? Where did he go? Where did he go? That giraffe. Okay. Take her toy and I'm gonna cover her with a blanket and see what she does. She knows now that toy's under the blanket. So that means she's right on track. Good job, Annie. Let's try it again. So we're gonna take the toys and we're gonna cover it with a blanket. Annie, find your toys. Where's your toys? Find your toys. Yay! High five! Give me high five! Good job! All right. O teste de estabilidade de quantidade envolve volumes, comprimento, peso, contagem, etc. E procura identificar se a criança já tem a noção de que mudança na forma ou na posição não altera necessariamente tais quantidades. So I'm going to make two rows of quarters. Okay. Does this row have more quarters? Does this row have more quarters or are they the same? The same. The same? Okay. Now watch. Now, does this row have more quarters? Does this row have more quarters, or are they the same? That one has more quarters. That one has more quarters? Yeah. Why does that one have more quarters? Because it's stretched out. Because it's stretched out? Yes. Okay, so how many are in this row? One, two, 
three, four, five. Okay, how many are in this room? One, two, three, four, five. So, are there more in this room? This room, or are they the same? The same. The same? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we have two sticks. Is this stick longer? Is this stick longer, or are they the same? The same. The same? What about now? Is this stick longer? Is this stick longer, or are they the same? That stick is longer. The stick is longer? Yeah. Can you tell me why? Because you moved it over. So now it's longer? Yeah. Okay. Tell me. I'm going to pour blue water into each of these cups, and you're going to have to tell me when, they're the, when they have the same amount, okay? Okay, tell me when this one is the same. The same. The same? Those two are the same now? Yeah. Okay. Watch this. We're going to take the blue water from this glass and we're going to pour it into this glass. Now, does this glass have more water? Does this glass have more water or are they the same? It has more water. This one has more water? Yeah. Can you tell me why? Because that one's higher than that one. That one's higher than that one, right. Mm. Okay. Did we share the graham crackers fair? Is this fair? Yes. Is this fair? Yes. Yes? Can you tell me why it's fair? You have one and I do. I have one? You have two and I have one. Is that fair? No. No? How about now? Now that's fair. Now that's fair? Why is that fair? You have two and I have two. Can you look at these two glasses? Do you think that they have the same amount of juice? You think they have the same? Okay. Now we're going to pour this juice into this glass. Now do you think that this glass has more juice? This glass has more juice? Or do you think that they have the same amount? That one has more. This one has more, and why do you think that this one has more? Because the, it's taller. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Does this row have more quarters? Does this row have more quarters, or do they have the same? One, two, three, wait. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. They're the same? Five, five. Okay. They're both the same. They're the same? Okay. Does this row have more quarters? Does this row have more or do they have the same? This one has more. That one has more quarters? Yeah. Why does this row have more quarters? Because it's more like more like um, far away. It's far. It's more far away. Yeah, like it's like more far away than like that. Looks like bigger, bigger. Looks like bigger. Okay. All right, we're going to play a game with the graham crackers and we're going to share them between me and you, okay? Okay. Okay. Do you think that we shared those fairly? No. No, why not? They share. You have those and I have this one. Well, what about what? What if we try this? Okay, can I put this down right there? Okay. Now is it fair? Yeah. Yeah. Why is it fair now? Because we both have two. So first, we're gonna look at these two cups right here. Do you think there's the same amount of juice in this glass as there is in that glass? 
They're even. They're even? Okay. So we're going to take the juice from this glass and pour it into this one right here. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to look at this glass and that one. So do you think that there's more juice in this glass, more juice in this glass, or do you think that they have the same amount? Same amount. Okay, why do you think that they have the same amount? Just because this is skinny doesn't mean it 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 doesn't it's not the same amount. It, it has the same amount of juice in it, but it this one is just wider and this one's skinnier, but they have the same amount of juice. In it. it has the same amount of juice in it, but it this one is just wider and this one's skinnier, but they have the same amount of juice.